What's going on? I'm Ricky Riley, and today we're going to review another underrated, mostly solid state guitar amplifier, the Fender Performer 1000. Now, technically speaking, this is a hybrid amplifier, so not totally solid state. It's got a solid state clean channel, but over here in the drive channel, it has one 12AX7 preamp tube, and I can already tell there's going to be somebody in the comments who's like, I can hear it, bro. I can hear that warm, sweet, honey-like tube tone, and that's why I like the amp, and whatever. Maybe, that, maybe that's it for you. If you are a tube snob, this is probably not the channel for you because I'm a solid state evangelist. I'm out here screaming it from the mountaintop. But anyway, enough of the jibber jabber and tomfoolery. Let's get right to it. First off, I'm going to show you all the features of the amp. Then we're going to do some tones. I'll do two clean tones, two drive tones, and then we'll put a pedal in front of it just to hear how that sounds. Let's go. So this is a pretty simple amp. It's all analog, no effects other than the reverb. Over here, we've got our input jack. And if I'm being totally honest with you, I'm really not crazy about these kinds of input jacks, the little plastic ones with the metal ring inside. What I find is that as these amps age, the little metal ring falls out. And the jack still works, but your cable's always wobbling around in there. And then, inevitably, the plastic breaks. But anyway, on the clean channel, we've got volume, treble, mid, and bass controls, as well as this mid shift button. When the mid shift button is out, the mids are a little bit higher, and when you push the mid shift button in, they shift down a little bit lower. And I'll give you an example of both when I do the playing part. On channel two, we really kind of have two channels to work with. We've got gain one and gain two for each of those channels. Gain one is the yellow greenish one, and gain two is the red one. We've also got a treble, body, bass, and volume control, and that's for both of those channels, as well as a button to switch between the clean channel and the drive channel. And then we have the global controls for reverb and effects. The reverb is a real spring reverb and there is an effects loop on the back of the amp. So you can put your pedal board into that effects loop and then blend in that signal as you so choose. Pretty cool. We've also got a front facing input jack for our foot switch. Again, it's one of those ones I'm not crazy about. And this really cool logo that says Performer 1000 with real vacuum tube distortion. On the back of this old gal, we got a line out, the effects loop that we were talking about before that links up to that control on the front, and this three-way switch for the level of the output of the effects loop. And there is an eight ohm external speaker output. You'll have to excuse the dirtiness inside here. I haven't had a chance to clean it since I bought it, but like I said, there's a real spring reverb tank in there, as well as a 12 inch Fender special design speaker.
So that was the Fender Performer 1000. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. Let me know if you had one in the past. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.